You can add buttons to your public page that point visitors to certain events on your schedule. Your bookers can use these buttons to reduce the number of events they can see on your public page. For instance, if you deliver events in different places, they may wish to choose the location that suits them best. If you offer different types of events, they may wish to find just the type they are interested in. Or they may want to find events led by one instructor in particular. Before you set up filter buttons, you first need to create a filtered link to your public page. This will be an altered version of your public page URL. You will always be able to find your public page URL at the top of your admin schedule. In this example, the public page URL is bookwen.com slash public page, but yours will be different. Make a note of the URL. You can do this in a Word document or note-taking app. We are going to add some characters to the end of the URL. Be prepared to copy and paste the end result. Firstly, into your browser address bar to test it out, and then into your filter button. The first thing we need to add to the end of the URL is a question mark. This tells the browser that we want to navigate to a filtered version of your public page. Next, we will tell the browser exactly what we want to filter. In this example, I'm going to filter the public page to only show one location from my schedule. So I will write location and the equal symbol after the question mark at the end of my filtered URL. If you filter by a different attribute, such as an entry, you need to write something else before the equals sign. I'll get to that very soon. Once the browser knows which attribute you are interested in, you need to tell it exactly what you want to show. For a location, as in our example, you need to find the location code by navigating to the locations page in the setup menu, clicking to edit the location you are filtering to, and copying the relevant characters from the URL that is displayed in your browser address bar. The process for an entry filter is similar. Just click to edit and copy the code from your browser. As you can see, in this case, the filter reads question mark entry equals then the code we located. For a date filter, your URL should read start equals followed by the date you wish the schedule to show in the format year hyphen month hyphen day, as shown here. Or to filter according to tag, just type tags equals followed by the tag you have created. It should be typed in exactly the same way as it is entered on your entries. Use plus signs for any spaces in the filtered link. The filtered link you have created should point to a specific part of your schedule. You can test it out by entering it into the address bar of your browser and loading up the page. To give your bookers a button to click to access that link, you need to navigate to your public page and click on Page Setup. The General Information field will appear at the top of your public page, so it's the perfect place for your buttons. In our help article, you can find a piece of HTML code which creates a filter button. It might look complicated at first glance, but it's actually relatively easy to use. I'll talk you through everything you need to know. This text indicates the shape of the button you are creating. Most of the time, you don't need to change this. This indicates the color of the button. In our help article, you will find a list of variations you could enter after A class equals to modify the color. This is where you enter the filtered link that we created earlier. It tells the button to change the schedule to only show the events that you want to show. And finally, this shows the text that will be displayed on your button. It should tell the booker what will happen when they click. I'm going to copy across the example button code from our help documentation, then edit the relevant information. By changing the A class code, I'm changing the button color to blue. The example code is for a green button, so if you're happy with that, you don't need to change anything. Next, I will add the filtered link I created after href equals, making sure that I entered the link between the two quotation marks. Finally, I'm going to change the text displayed on the button to indicate to anyone who clicks that it will take them to events taking place in Brighton only. Once I'm happy with my code, I just need to save my work. 
then refresh the page so my changes take effect. Clicking on the button directs to my filtered link. If you add more than one button, you may wish to move each onto a separate line. This small snippet of code is a line break. It can be added between your button codes to create space. Our support team is always happy to help, so let us know if you have any questions or if you need any assistance.